it says network. Hello, how are you? Happy Monday, June the 3rd. The network connection just now came back up, so I hope it's a good connection and that it stays for a while. So we're here, are we ready? We're ready to do some work and see what's going on from Monday. Well, it's not work, it's always fun. I love what we do. We're going to continue with our card readings today from the Oracle. And is that backwards or is that not? I can't tell for sure. Can you guys tell? Let me test it and see. Hold on. We will see for sure. Hold on. I think we'll see. There. Much better, isn't it? Awesome. So if I can get that to go away. Great. Hi, Bonnie. How are you? Yay. Now you can see Mystical Shaman Aura. So here's the interesting thing. Today's card, so we've had awesome cards. We've had Lightning. We've had the Hunter <clears throat> about don't carry on road kill. You know, stay on your true path. Cheeky itching. So today, thanks, Bonnie. Pachamama. Pachamama. You know what that is? That's Mother Earth. That's the name for Mother Earth. And look at that fantastic card. So we actually have a two-part for today's reading. Uh, they've guided me to share something else with you for Pachimama, other than what we're going to do from the book. So we're going to start here in the book for Pachimama. And it says, The Essence. I like how she has broken this down into three pieces. Pachimama represents the unconditional love that the earth has for all her children, including the stones, the planets, the animal, the stones, the plants, the animals, and humans. She is the goddess of earth, also known as Gaia, who pervades in creation, who pervades all creation in our planet. Thanks to Pachamama, our timeless soul can experience life in a biological body. And the joy and pain we taste during our brief time on earth are invitations to discover the boundless love of Pachamama. So that's pretty cool, I think. Let me put this right here so I can get my glasses. I will do so much better if I have my glasses. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. So the invitation, you are a child of the earth. Now is the time to eat right, love right, and be joyous, regardless of the circumstances you may find yourself in. <sighs> be grateful for your, I felt that strong energy blast come through. Did you? Notice, notice what goes on as I read these daily card readings to you and as I give you more information from where they guide me to go. Be careful for your life your body, and all that nourishes you. Pachamama invites you to relish each breath, embrace your joy and your pain equally, and discover love through both. Let Pachamama know how much you appreciate all of her blessings with an act of service, such as planting a tree, helping save an endangered species, or protecting the ocean. So that makes sense. Now here's the medicine part. You still believe that you have been cast out of the Garden of Eden, that you are motherless and homeless. You suppose that you need to work very hard to survive or thrive. It is time to stop suffering. Let go of that old myth and realize you were given the garden to rejoice in and to become its steward. Your melancholy is really a longing to return to the heart of Pachimama. Listen deeply so the mother who is always there for you. Listen deeply to the mother who is always there for you. Walk in beauty and honor all life. So that's our Pachimama card from the Mystical Shaman Oracle. It looks like this. So what they're leading me to is another channel message they gave me. And it's in my book, The Divine Feminine. And that painting is actually a painting of Universe Mother Earth. It's one of my original paintings. And when I finished the book, they said, you've got the cover. Just find that painting and put it on it. So here's the message from 
the masters that they want also want you to hear along with Pachimama. We want to ask why. There are so many humans insisting on keeping their faces covered, so to speak, with their heads in the sand. There is much happening to your planet now, and this is not the time to continue in your veiled ideal of what is happening and what your part is during this shifting of energies. We love everyone on your planet, and this is why we are asking such a strong question now. We are hoping that somehow your, our question will help to bring a different point of view into your consideration. We are very powerful, but you in your human forms are extremely powerful also. Even in your human forms, where so much of your extraordinary abilities are kept secret from your consciousness, even with that, you have powers beyond your imagination. So we ask again, why? Why are so many humans insisting on keeping their faces covered, so to speak, with their heads in the sand? So, oh, good, Bonnie, I'm glad it speaks to you. Listen with your heart centers. Listen from your heart, not your head. The human mind is also working at a small percentage of its total capacity. Let me reread that. The human mind is only working at a small percentage of its total capacity. Why place all of your trust and belief systems in something that is not working at full capacity? Your heart, however, does have the capacity to work at its full ability. So we say, trust your heart center. We know that you know the truth and that times are changing. This change is for the better and the extreme benefit of the planet and all upon it. The higher level beings, the higher level light beings have been waiting for thousands and thousands of years for this period and now it's finally here. You have helped to plan these coming changes in your light body forms. You all are part of us and part of the current changes. How's that sounding so far? We are here to continue to encourage you to breathe deeply, close your eyes, relax into your center core, and listen to the messages from your heart center. They will not lead you astray. We are ultimate unconditional love and that is what we have to share with you. We know that once you truly reach into your heart center core, you will recognize all this for truth and you will be aware and ready to assist in this elevated shift of human consciousness of the planet, of human consciousness and of the planet. We say no longer is there a need to keep yourself veiled from the fundamental truths that we are speaking to you now. There are strong vibrations placed upon these words and as you read them and hear them, you will begin to make small, simple shifts in your consciousness, remembering this truth. We are here for you and for all the magnificent kingdoms on your beautiful planet. What do you think about that? That was a channel message from my guides that they had me include in my book. If you'd like to see more in the book, if you want, you can find it at Amazon on Kindle and I'll put a link here for you. But I thought it was really curious that they took me to that particular chapter in the book. And then this morning, we have Pachimama. So it's all about the beauty of this planet and the beauty that we can share and that we are part. We are all connected. So, hope you enjoyed it. Love you guys very much and... We'll see you tomorrow. Hi, Barb. Love you. Get to watch the replay. See you later.